So you open your Microsoft Teams and you cannot open your account. Instead, you are greeted with an error. You don't have the required permissions to access this org and the possible solutions presented are talk to your IT admin and there is a button to switch to another account. If you try to search online how to solve this issue, some of the solutions will be obsolete. For example, switching back to classic Microsoft Teams, which is not possible anymore. The only application you can use is the new Microsoft Teams, which is basically an internet browser now, and it is worse in so many areas. For example, it doesn't have the zoom feature for camera anymore, and you're supposed to use your webcam utility if you want, for example, to change the field of view of your camera to make it smaller. And if your webcam doesn't have an utility or the utility doesn't have this option, you are so out of luck. But anyway, most real solutions will be very technical and they actually focus around what the error says, permissions and licensing. Since in corporate sector, most organizations will actually pay Microsoft for Office 365 subscription, which includes online office, email, cloud storage, such as OneDrive, and also Microsoft Teams. And the solutions will be around users trying to use their personal Teams account to access their corporate Teams account, users from one company trying to access Teams for another company, and things like that. And there will be a lot of talk about licensing and certain users in your tenancy being denied access to Teams, all of which are very legitimate solutions. However, they are for the IT people. You, as a regular user who doesn't work for IT and doesn't manage Microsoft Office 365 subscription, cannot change any of those settings. So you will definitely need to speak to your IT people as the error suggests. However, most seem to forget that this is Microsoft we're speaking about. And Microsoft has a history with presenting you with error messages that have nothing to do with the actual problem. And you will waste hours, days, and weeks of your precious life, which, by the way, you only have one, chasing those paths even though you were misled by a random error message in the first place. So in this particular case, the problem is actually your networking. So in this case, it's a corporate issued laptop and the user has no admin rights on it. This laptop is used in the office and it is also used for work from home. And to enable working from home, it obviously has a VPN, which connects the laptop back to the office to be able to use some local services, such as shared drives and shared folders, and also applications that run on internal network but are not exposed to the internet, like accounting applications, for example. And the person who experienced this problem took this laptop with them on a vacation. The company they work for is known for those urgent meetings that you need to attend even though you're on a vacation. And since it's better to be safe than sorry, they usually take the laptop anywhere they travel. So they did everything as usual to connect to work from home environment, that is established VPN connection and everything else. However, Teams will not let them in. But the moment they came back and tried to do the same thing, both from the office and from their actual home, not from the vacation home in another country, Teams started to work just fine without having to do anything. So the only thing changed in this situation is the network, the Wi-Fi they were connected to, and also the country that internet is coming from. So this is a networking issue. And the error is misleading. There is nothing wrong with your permissions. There is nothing wrong with your account. Teams just cannot access Microsoft website and they throw you this error. Since in most organizations, even if you use VPN to connect to your office, Microsoft applications such as Office, Mail, and Teams will bypass VPN and connect directly to Microsoft web services. Not through your office, directly from whatever connection you have. So there is an easy fix, which might work, and there is a very hard fix. 
So the easy fix, you need to open Internet Options. You can reach them by searching Internet Options in the Start menu. And there, in Connections, tap on LAN Settings at the bottom and make sure that Automatically Detect Settings is checked. Even if it's checked, uncheck it, apply, and check it back. Alternatively or additionally, you can also check Use Automatic Settings in the New Control Panel in Windows. After you do all that, restart your computer and try logging into Teams. This time, it may work. However, if it doesn't, the problem is probably with your firewall or geographical restrictions that your IT person has put onto Teams access. As I said, in this particular case, the user couldn't log in while being on a vacation in a different country. And the policy for work from home in that organization is that it can only be done from the same country. Or in some cases, there is a white list of countries, while other countries are deemed high risk. That was probably the case in this situation, since the vacation home was in a third world country. For example, many companies will use Zscaler, which is a cloud-based proxy server, so all your internet traffic actually goes to Zscaler server first, where it gets filtered or whatever, and then passed through to the actual destination you want to reach. So in this particular case, Zscaler was used to block connections originating from certain countries, and that's why Teams wasn't working. As soon as the computer was connected to the network it used to be connected before, in the country where the company is, everything started working just fine. And in this situation, since you don't have administrative access to your laptop, and thus you cannot install VPN to your home, for example, and even if you did, I strongly advise against doing anything, literally anything, with your corporate-issued laptop, since you can get into serious trouble for doing so. But if you want to hide the fact that you work from home, from a different country, without amending anything on your company-issued laptop, what you could use is a so-called travel router. They usually work in pairs, so you set up your home router to accept connections from that travel router, then you connect the travel router to whatever Wi-Fi you have in your hotel, for example, then you connect your laptop to this travel router. And what happens next? All the traffic from your laptop is being passed to your home router where it exits to the internet. So from the observer, including the Zscaler part, all your traffic still originates from your home country. And then it will allow you to connect to Teams just fine. That is, of course, if the problem is with restrictions from where you can connect to Teams. That may be your home country, even your own IP at your home address or certain countries or whatever. But mind you, using anything to circumvent your company's IT security policies, including the travel router, and also working from locations which are prohibited by your local HR policies, for example, may get you into serious trouble if you screw it up, or they find out in any other way. So you have been warned. I'm the god of YouTube! Like, subscribe, jingle bells.